All right, gang, what's going on? Schaefer and the Shea Show, and we are at that location where Chris was doing those hardwood floors. He's all done, complete. There's a couple things that we're trying to do that we need to actually do. Nothing major, but we're pretty much ready. The porch is done. You've seen in previous videos, especially on Periscope, when the guy was tearing this whole part of this porch out to the point where they end up putting their cement in and getting this thing nice and clean and straight so we don't have to worry about a potential tenant someone coming over here falling through the porch because I see people rent houses out with the porch almost caved in like that and why people take places like that I'll never know but one thing I do know when people take that type of stuff those are the people you're going to have problems out of all right let's go in All right, here's the completion of the floors. Oh, sand it down, nice polyurethane. These are beautiful floors. Why somebody would paint over these floors is beyond me. It's like water, look at that. Really nice. And I told you that it was going to go really good with my water chestnut. I'm going real nice and slow so you can take it all in. Matter of fact, I'm going to get down on ground level for you. So you can really see. See, I'm sacrificing my knees. So you can see this. Just got the wipe down in the kitchen. Really beautiful kitchen. Also, with our antique white and our water chestnut. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going real nice and slow. In a previous video, some of you might remember, if you're new here, don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We had an eviction here, and I believe that girl has something to do with snatching this ceiling down because there was no uh, water lines up here at all. This whole ceiling had just caved in from, from right there to about right there to right here so it was a big spot so if you go back in the previous video of this place and you'll see that so my drywall guys did a really excellent job patching that up you really can't even tell somebody gonna love this kitchen i'm telling you i can't get over those floors I keep saying that all the time. I mean, somebody actually painted over this. Instead of taking out the time and spending a little extra money to go ahead and sand these floors down. Because this will they cover it up. Look at this. The unfortunate part about this is, you know already, the house is going to be tra well traveled, people in and out, depending on people take their shoes off. In my house, when you walk through my house, you got to take, with my door, you have to take your shoes off. That's just protocol in my house. As soon as you walk through the door, you have to take your shoes off. Period. I don't even have hardwood floors. Well, I do. Certain parts. But my living room is like carpet. It's like white carpet. So, that's just protocol in my house. So, if somebody would come in here, if this was my house, 
I will actually take my shoes off at the door every time. So it can damage these floors. And that's what's going to happen in time anyway. So that's why I'm taking a good shot of this right now because I know it's going to happen at some point. That's what's going to happen. other bedroom over here because uh, I got to call DTE back out here. Oh, Lord. We had lights on legally and the meter's in, so I don't know why we don't have power. We had power the other day because we shimmed the... Uh, electric meter so we can uh, do the work we need to do in here because DTE didn't come back out to find out what the problem was. Yeah, but this place is uh, turning out really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. And for whatever reason, when that girl we put out of here, they got back in here, they called themselves like getting back at us or whatever. She took a whole bottle of lotion that she probably needed because she was ashy, and she did that. Okay, let's see what upstairs look like. Ah, look at this. Remember what this used to look like up here, didn't you? Look at that, like glass, look at that. Now, what we did up here, we just did the whole thing, water chestnut up here. The whole thing. So it worked out fine. And again, if you're new, from here to here to here, this whole big spot was all gone. You could actually see the roof. Again, my drywall guys did an excellent job. With the drywall, you really can't tell. Look at that floor. It's gonna be the same thing up here what's gonna happen. If they don't take their shoes off, this is, this is gonna have so much wear and tear on these floors, you'll see. Hopefully we won't have no eviction over here when we get the next persons in here. Hopefully everything will work out fine. Hopefully. Really nice. Really nice. In the bathroom, we just got to be just cleaned up a little bit. We did our uh, water chestnut in here. And we did a little accent trim. As you can see, an antique way. I'm just hoping whoever moves in here really appreciates this place. and does the right thing. And we do uh, do background checks. The biggest thing for me is going in the system and looking on 36th District Court uh, website to see if that potential tenant has been evicted before. That's first and foremost. Because for the most part, a lot of people got bad credit. Shit, even me. <coughs> so you really can't judge anybody 
by their credit. If they got 500 or 600 credit score, you just can't really judge by that. We had a guy who had an 800 credit score working at Chrysler, working. And I think this guy was making like over 20 bucks an hour. He's a single guy. Rent was only $800, not here, but another place. And we had to evict that guy. So he had a, something else going on. I don't know whether it's gambling problems or women problems. I don't know what it was. But somebody, a single guy with an 800 credit score, didn't show no evictions on his record whatsoever. And making over 20 bucks an hour working at Chrysler shouldn't have been evicted from paying $800. And I had a girl, a cashier, who was making probably about 10 bucks an hour. And she'd been a long running tenant for like six years without no problem paying 550 bucks religiously on time every month. So the question should be screening for the mindset. Well, you can't screen for a mindset of a person. You don't know what people are and what they do and how they do. You just don't know. You just don't know. Let's take one good look at this kitchen from this angle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful as Wonder Wood in Australia would say. Speaking of Wonder Wood in Australia, I wonder how he's coming along. He did try to start a business here outside of me. But I don't think it ended up working out for him. Working. Beautiful. I know the owner's looking at this and he's he has to be very pleased. He has to be very pleased. Money well spent. Money well spent. Unfortunately, what's going to happen, people come in here and and they don't uh, take their shoes off or be in the habit of doing that, you won't be able to tell with these floors. With, with, I bet you inside of six months to a year, depending on the traffic that comes through here, you won't see this anymore. <laughs> You'll see a lot of wear and tear in here. Beautiful fireplace. Really nice. Really nice. All right, I'm getting ready to get out of here because it's Saturday. And I promise to take the kids to uh, to the movie to see that movie, Coco. It's a kid's movie. Starts at uh, 3.15 and it's like 2 o'clock right now. So, I had to come over here so I can do this. And get this out of the way. So again... Thank you so much for tuning in to the Shea Show. I really appreciate you. All the love and all the support you guys have given me over the years. I want to acknowledge that. I never make light of that. And also, if you want to have some fun, join us on Periscope at the Shea Show. So if you don't have Periscope, go to your app store. Go to your app store right now while I'm doing this. Download the app Periscope. Get a user account. Create a password. And follow the Shea Show. And the fun will begin. I guarantee you. We have a lot of fun over there on Periscope. Just ask anybody. I'm just not making this up. Okay. With that said, until then, we'll see you at the next location.